there guys, thanks for watching this video. What I'm going to show you today is how to hack Minecraft Raspberry Pi Edition. Um, and it's fairly simple, all you need is two programs that come pre-installed with the Raspberry operating system. Minecraft Pi Edition, which comes pre-installed, and also Sonic Pi. If you don't know what Sonic Pi is, just open it up. It's under programming, and it's this one here, second to the bottom. And when you first come on, it does give you options of tutorials and stuff down at the bottom there. But you don't have to do any of them to know this, because I hadn't used it before. This um, Minecraft hacking stuff. It's 25 lines long, and what this does is it changes the block that you walk on to either a diamond or a wooden block. So just when you're walking around the map, it'll just change the block that you walk on to a diamond or a wooden block. And there's many other things you can do with um, hacking Minecraft on a Raspberry Pi, but this is just a demonstration of one of the most simplest things you can do. It's also going to play some music in the background that's going to be randomly selected. The first line is part of that, and it just sets the beats per minute to 120. Then we're defining the first function as bell, and this will just select randomly this bit, this line here. We'll just select randomly from these things here uh, the rate of playback, how fast it's going to play. Then we're just ending that. Then in this function here, which we've called plinky, um, we replace the single note instrument with a modulating note and again we pick a note at random and play it for only a tenth of a second before the function ends. Then here we have a live loop and a live loop is in Sonic Pi a way to run multiple loops simultaneously and yeah, just run them side by side. So we're creating a variable here called position and this is going to get where we are in the world. Then we need to create three more variables for x, y and z and then position 0, 1 and 2 so that will just get the x, y and z coordinates of where we are in the world. Then this line here below da -da -da, um, this just gets the block like that get block x, y minus 1, z. Then in mc.getBlock it's going to replace it with wood or diamond block and choose x, y, z. And then sleep for, so delay the program for a fifth of a second. And then here it's just going to do plinky and bell at the same time, bell, plinky, so it'll do, just do them two functions at the same time down here and then here it's going to choose between a wood block or a diamond block and replace the block that we walk on with them blocks. I'm going to run the program now. You might be able to hear that music, it's not, not the most nice music in the world but Oh well, just going to start a game, create a new one. Actually, I'll stop that for a second. This will just take a second, guys. Okay, here we go. And we're going to run that. We're back into the game. And now, oh, watch this. Move forward, and all the blocks you walk on will either change to wood block or diamond block. And actually, when you walk down, it kind of gives you a staircase. There we have it. You just walk around. We're going up very, very fast now. 
and then it just replaces the block beneath you with either diamond or wood block. <laughs> 